Hello children, welcome to Aditya Kids Education. How are you all? I hope you are doing well in your studies. So children, today we are going to learn about the digestive system. So first of all, you all know we need energy to do various tasks in our day-to-day -day life. And this energy comes from food. But do you get energy in a few moments? After eating food? No. Let's see why it happens. Okay. So the food we eat cannot be used directly by our body cells. So the food we eat needs to be broken down into simpler substances and to be absorbed by the blood. And this process is called digestion. Okay children see in the picture this is the whole process that takes place when we eat food. So first food enters from mouth and goes to esophagus that is food pipe. After that it goes to stomach. After that it goes to small intestine and large intestine and the waste come out from the anus. Next is the digestive system. Many organs work together and help in digestion. So the set of organs that help in the process of digestion forms the digestive system. The main organs of the digestive system of our body are mouth, food pipe, stomach, liver, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine and anus. Now see in the picture of human digestive system, it has mouth, food pipe also known as esophagus, liver, stomach, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine and anus. Okay. Now let's have a look on these organs one by one. So first is mouth. The process of digestion starts in the mouth. In fact, digestion starts before you take your favorite food. Like, take an example. If your mother place a favorite dish on the table in front of you. So first, when you see it, smell it, or even when you imagine the taste of that meal, at the time, the salivary glands secretes saliva. Secretes means or you can say release. So salivary glands secretes saliva and this salivary glands present in the mouth pour saliva which converts starch into sugar. That is which converts a complex carbohydrate to a simple carbohydrate. So children See in the picture, as you can see, the salivary glands that secretes saliva in the mouth. After that, what happens? Yes, the first when we take a bite of the food, our incisor teeth and our molar teeth both helps in chewing the food. That is, the molar teeth crack and grind the food into more smaller pieces. After that, the tongue helps in mixing saliva with the food particles and swallow the chewed food to food pipe. So next is food pipe, which is also known as, yes, esophagus. The food goes to the food pipe, passed to the stomach. Okay. Now the food has passed on to the stomach. And stomach is like a muscular bag. If you see in the picture, it will look like a letter J. The inner layer of the stomach releases digestive juices. These juices helps in the digestion of the food. Food is churned and mixed with digestive juices. Okay, now see in the picture. Yes, here is the stomach. Okay. 
Now the food is mixed with digested juices and after mixing it, it becomes like a thick soup which passes into small intestine. But at the same time, the liver release bile and pancreas release enzymes which passes into small intestine and which helps the food to digest. So let's have a look on liver and pancreas in more detail. So liver. The liver is the largest organ of our body. It produces bile. Bile helps digest fats in the small intestine. So children see in the picture the organ that is highlighted in the yellow color is liver. See in the picture in the center of the liver the blue circle. Can you see it? This is a gallbladder. The gallbladder release bile in this small intestine. Okay. Next is pancreas. The pancreas produces, releases, whatever you say. So pancreas releases pancreatic juices. And these juices helps to digest carbohydrates, fats and proteins in the small intestine. Okay, now see in the picture. Yes, this here is the pancreas. Okay. The next is small intestine. So small intestine is the longest organ of the body. Okay. Largest is liver but the longest is the small intestine. Okay. So the food mixture from the stomach, the bile from the liver and the enzymes from the pancreas comes into small intestine. Okay. Okay. See here. Here is the small intestine as you can see. Now the bile releases from the liver and the enzymes release from the pancreas into the small intestine which helps in complete digestion of nutrients. Okay. The digested nutrients absorbed by the blood vessels in the walls of a small intestine. The nutrients contain blood is passed to other body parts through the blood vessels. So children in the simple language we can say that all the nutrients from the food is absorbed by the blood vessels that is in the walls of small intestine and the blood which contains nutrients is passed to all other body parts through blood vessels and the undigested food goes into large intestine so next is large intestine large intestine absorb the extra water and carries it to the kidneys the remaining solid undigested waste is thrown out from the anus Okay, now see here in the picture. Okay, see here this is the picture of a large intestine. So children, what you conclude here? Yes, that the digestive system is a very important part of our body. Without it, we can't get the essential nutrients which are needed for our proper growth and good health. So this was all about digestive system. In the next upcoming video, we will learn about excretory system, which is also very important as digestive system. So please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you are the first to get the notification of upcoming videos. Okay, bye children.